Hey guys, it's Queen Bijan, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 24 of Healing Good Pretty Curious. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Okay, why don't you guys go? Of course. <laughs> um, yeah. But we were, uh, it's fine. Mm -hmm. At least it's not camping. I, I don't think I could wake up that early. Me. Just imagine waking up at six in the morning going somewhere. Mm. Really, Cody? Cody? Really? <laughs> Just <laughs> see Umi in the background looking like, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Honestly, this is much better than a cafe, even though, you know, girl, I would love to go to a cafe, but it's nice. No! Oh my god, 
Oh, God, I'm hungry. Mm. I'm gonna eat something after this. I would be too. You know how much food that was? Exactly. True. Mm -hmm. So it's watching from afar until you guys leave. It's okay. God, it's so cute though. I mean, one fail after the other, right? Mm -hmm. That's why you gotta be careful. No, she's more of a, there you go. Mm-hmm. But she has to listen for him, silly. <laughs> well, I learned something new today.
You know, she kind of reminds me of um, Flora from Winx Club. Teeny tiny bit. Yeah, because I bet you Umi feels the same way with it too, right? Oh, that better be a promise, though. Well, you know, since um, I guess she died how many episodes ago? Ever since, you know, Umi made her appearance? Makes sense. This thing now look like a Pokemon. Mm. Yeah, but it's going to take you two hours to get there. Is she about to transport herself there? I mean, I, oh, okay. Yeah, Umi is way too OP. I <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they could be getting their, um, their new wands today. Maybe, I don't know. Either this week or next week, it makes sense. But I mean, because like I've seen the the uh, the pictures of them. you guys have probably seen the pictures of them as well. So I mean, why waste our time anymore? Just let them go ahead and have the new power with their syringe, so you can just inject pretty tear into your mind. <laughs>
Well, of course, Kobayashi. I mean, come on, you're the good guys, you're the bad guys, so, mmm. Oh, you are not. Oh my god! Oh, this is gonna get worse with the freaking bird. I might not like the bird! I mean, she went real close. Somebody finally said it. she do junk. No. Yeah, he gonna be way more annoying than a catchy. I mean, we all know freaking hamster was <laughs> making a second catchy. So annoying. Rat. No, he was a rat. <laughs> but this bird, oh my god, he gonna be way more annoying. I wonder how long he's gonna last. <laughs> oh yeah yeah oh my god see you can only earth oh my god that's girl But baby. This one episode, oh, okay. <laughs> You're right about that. I think if he would have kept him a little while longer, he could have been a lot better than, you know, right a catcher. Yeah, do that again.
Well, looks like you're taking the train home, guys. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Is it weird that this episode in a nutshell gave me a lot of Save the Planet feel vibes for it? I mean, it was a really, really sweet episode focusing on Umi as a character and, you know, the connection that her and Zakia have. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. good as fuck, I'm just saying. But, like, it did, really. I mean, I remember, like, going... Between usually they do this a lot between elementary and middle school. I don't really remember if they do it as much as in high school. Even from my high school career, I don't think they did for us. But it was really always every few months or every few years of whatever grade you're in. Like it happened to me for what fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, and then all of middle school where we had, like, something about, like, a rally about saving the planet and stuff like that. I don't know if I was the only school that did that or had a club or something that did that. It was interesting because you get to see the different sides and how, even till today, like, I kind of see it, not as much, mainly on Twitter, where people will post, like, well, look what we're doing to the earth and yada, yada, and this is that and the third, and it makes you want to change. Even the movie, um... It's one of my personal favorite movies, <laughs> the Dr. Seuss movies, The Lorax. That was one of those films that also like went mm, into nature and like, oh, we need to protect the planet. Okay, can we talk about Pink Town real quick? Okay. So when the show <laughs> finally um, <clears throat> got to <laughs> was able to be streamed on Crunchyroll, and then finally, I think it was like la last week or the week before, episodes 1 through 12 finally got on Crunchyroll, and so um, there were a lot of anime um articles coming out about Healing Good Pretty Cure because you're like, oh yeah, like the first half of Healing Good Pretty Cure is finally coming on the country roll. Watch it and stuff. There were so many articles out talking about Penguin Todd and why he's best boy and needs to be protected. And I was like, oh my god, like yes, like the fact is that you know we're we're getting either mainstream or not as much mainstream um anime news networks uh getting like the same as a pretty cure. Like oh my god, it's still still like it's surreal to know it just feels like a dream to me at times because typically I usually had to wait until like Sunday Monday to watch the episode and to hurry up and get it out for you guys so like if, let's say I didn't do it on Sunday and then I have to wait until Monday and usually on Monday I have fruits basket but I mean oh it's just still so good but yes penguin time oh my god hmm I feel like maybe how he is missing. The little girl who's in the episode with her for the preview. Um, possibly picked him up. <laughs> and that maybe happened or something like really ridiculous. You know how like when um I'm gonna compare this to Car Captain Sakura again. When Kyo not Kyo <laughs> not Kyo Kiro when Kiro got <laughs> disappeared for like an episode and you're like wondering where he went it's not the the first fight because like that's another moment from this show that gave me so many freaking feels to Karka to Sakura but there's an episode in Karka to Sakura and it is like early early on almost like around the point where Lee somewhat comes in and mm, I think a little bit before Malin comes in I believe where like um Kiro just has gone missing, and Sakura is looking everywhere for him. And Sakura, oh my god, it was such a sad moment. But like Kiro eventually finds his way home. And I was like, oh my god, like happy tears. Like I can't. He's so cute. But like yeah, this is what it seems like it's gonna be next week. But oh, I mean, the biggest thing is that we're just wondering is when is this next one gonna show up? We're now gonna be on episode twenty five by next week, and 
still no new one power up. We like I said, we all know what it looks like. It's been it's on Twitter. Like if you literally look up anything for pre here as of right now, I think you can probably still find pictures of it on Twitter. If not, I mean the internet. Somebody's gonna repost it or um anything. Instagram if you're following it, if you're on Instagram, um YouTube channels who cover the Pretty Care series, and they're like, oh, hey, new stuff is coming out for it and getting ready. I mean, they just showed pictures of the new Pretty Care All-Star calendar that's supposed to be coming out soon, so, yeah. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 24 of Healing Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Sunday for episode 25. Bye, guys.